Hey Steve here, hope you're well. Uh, this will be quite a quick video and it was inspired by another question I've received on some emails and videos in the past. And that question is, how do I load bracketed RAW files into Photoshop so I can blend them into a high dynamic range image? Now, a lot of my other videos do start off having done these steps with the images open in Photoshop already. And this question crops up quite frequently, so I figured it would help to answer it in video. Now, if you use Lightroom, then it's a piece of cake. Uh, if you use only Photoshop, then there are some extra steps, but I'll lay them all out in order here in this video. So this task is performed in the very first stage of my six stage processing workflow. And you can download a free PDF that maps out that entire end to end process using the link in the video description below if you haven't already downloaded it. For now, let's run through these steps starting with Lightroom because that's the simplest and then we'll be on to the Photoshop steps in no time at all. So here we are in Lightroom. I've got three bracketed images in this folder right now. So one, two, three. And the way that we're going to get these all loaded into the same document in Photoshop so that we can blend them using layer masks and luminosity masks and whatnot is with, well, from the develop module or the library, doesn't matter. What you need is the film strip down the bottom here. If you don't have the film strip, then there's a little tab here. You can just use that to open and close this. So you need to click on the first of your bracketed images and hold shift and then click on the last one and that will load all three. So you can see all three are highlighted there. Now, if you've got images that are kind of spread about, then you can click on the first one and then press either command or control and click on the other ones and kind of skip the ones in between if you need to do that. So once you've got all three activated in the film strip, you just right click, choose edit in, and then rather than go edit in Photoshop, which is then going to open three separate documents, just choose this option at the bottom here that says open as layers in Photoshop. So I'll just do that now and show you what that looks like. And after a few seconds, here we are. We've got each raw file has been loaded into its own layer in the same document here. So we can just hide those layers to reveal the ones beneath and we can add layer masks and whatnot and start blending those exposures. I've got heaps of videos on that, uh, which you can find on my YouTube channel if you want to actually look into the uh, exposure blending stuff. Um, but really from Lightroom, how you get those images into Photoshop, that's it. It's quite a simple process. Let me now show you how to do the same thing if you don't use Lightroom and you've just got the raw files sitting around on your hard drive. So what you can do, there's one of two ways you can open the files. You can either go file and then open or you can, uh, like where you've got your file saved, you can just do it from your file, uh, file browser, whether you're on Mac or Windows, this should work basically the same. So you can activate or load each one uh, or select each one just as we did in Lightroom so that all three are highlighted. Right click, open with, and then Adobe Photoshop. There isn't an open as layers or open in layers. Can't remember the terminology now. Uh, so what you need to do is open in Adobe Photoshop 2020. And what's going to happen is that they're not going to go straight into Photoshop. They're going to go into Camera Raw. So from here, you can make any edits that you would normally be able to do in Lightroom uh, in the develop module. You can make all those same exact edits here using all of these options. And again, I'm not going to go into the details of that here. I've got that covered in various videos and in my workflow cheat sheet, the uh, six stage workflow that you can download. Uh, what I will show you here is how we actually get these images into Photoshop, because if we, well, wh where I think most people uh, come unstuck is by uh, clicking on one, making some adjustments and then clicking open image. That's only going to open the one that's active on the screen right now. So again, you need to select all three by clicking on the first one and then hold shift on the keyboard, click on the last one. So now all three are active and the way you can tell that they're active as well, apart from the fact that you can see it um, with the gray outline is down here. It says three out of three selected. And also the button now changes from open image to open images. So with that, 
Let's click Open Images. Now again, this is not going to load them into the same document. So there is an extra step at this point now. So we've got one, two, and three. And each one has got its own layer in its own document. So to get all three of those images into the same document, just like we have in the Lightroom example, we can basically just choose which one you're going to copy and paste into. So let's just the first one here, the bright exposure, use that as our, uh, as our foundation, and then we'll click on the second tab at the top here. Uh, we can select all, you can do that in the menu, select all, or just command or control A, and then edit, copy, or command and control C, come back over into the first document, and just simply hit command or control V, or edit, paste. And that's going to paste it as a layer above the uh, the original background of this particular document. So once you've done that, you can uh, safely close the dark exposure here now. So we can close that document. No need to save. Do the same thing with the middle exposure. Command or Control A, Command or Control C to copy back over into here, and Command or Control V to paste. And now we can close the original image don't save and now we've got a background layer one layer two you can rename these if you double click it uh, if you double click the background you can click OK there and that will basically unlock it so you can move them around and just reorder them however you want um, and with that done and this process complete you're then ready to move on to actually blending those exposures using your preferred layer masking methods and techniques. So I hope you found this video useful. I know that, you know, over the years, quite a lot of people have actually asked this question to me. Um, and yeah, I figured this current batch of videos that I'm uploading the last few days have all been based on questions that I received. So yeah, this is uh, one that hopefully you'll find useful. So at this point, just a final reminder that you can download that PDF uh, that I mentioned earlier that maps out my entire end-to-end six-stage processing workflow for landscape photography. Uh, you can just click the link in the description and head off and download that. Uh, but for now, thanks again for watching. Hope you found this video useful. I'll talk to you soon.